Thank you for checking us out here on the very last of our behind the scenes look at Christmas. Now there's a whole lot more that goes in to Christmas than even just our brief glimpse over these last few videos, but we're just wanting to take a peek and see what Christmas is all about, why we celebrate different elements of Christmas. You know, the specific day we celebrate Christmas, some of the elements that we celebrate Christmas with, like this tree, um, different things like the wise men. What's that all about? Why do we even call it Christmas? Well, today we're going to look at the, spe- you know, the, the year of Christ's birth, of Jesus' birth. What's that all about? Was Jesus actually born in, you know, year zero or, or in year one? What, what, when was Jesus specifically born? Uh, well, there was a guy named Dionysius, and uh, he organized the calendar we use today. And in the year 525 AD, he tried to figure out all by himself when Jesus was born for this new calendar system that he was trying to set up. He wanted that specific event, Jesus' birth, to direct the dating of this new calendar system. Now, unfortunately, we don't have his notes from how he put the calendar together, uh, exactly how he came to the conclusions that he did about when Jesus was born, but there's something we know that he didn't really know at the time. You see, according to Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, King Herod the Great was still alive after Jesus was born, and we know that uh, Herod died in 4 B.C., Now, after Jesus was born, from Matthew chapter 2, we see that Herod met with the wise men, the Magi, and he was tricked by the wise men, and uh, they went home a different way. And so then he ordered um, his men, his guards, to kill all of the baby boys under the age of two. We see that in Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. Joseph then, having heard this, uh, flees to Egypt with his family. And all this had to happen before Herod died in 4 B.C. So Jesus' birth would have at least have to have been, you know, in 5 B.C., at least one year before. Uh, And there's just an interesting point that we need to note, kind of a little side note here as we look at when Jesus was born, at least in 5 B.C., uh, maybe even before that. We'll take a look at that. You see, we learn in Luke chapter 3, verse 23, that Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his ministry his public ministry. And we also know from the book of John that there were three separate Passover feasts occur, occurring during Jesus' ministry tenure, during the time of his ministry. Uh, in John 2.13, right after his ministry began, there was a Passover. Then in John 6.4, while Jesus was in Galilee feeding the 5,000, there was another Passover. And then in John 19.14, Jesus' own crucifixion took place during Uh, another Passover. So the first Passover Jesus ministered during was right at the beginning of his ministry, a little bit after. The last Passover was right at the end of his ministry. So Jesus' ministry then was a little over two years long. And taking Luke's record of Jesus' age, 30, John's record of the number of Passovers, then Jesus was about 32 years old when he died. And we know also from John chapter 20, verse 1, that Jesus rose from the dead on a Sunday and that he had been dead for three days. And according to first century Jewish line of thinking, any part of a day that you were in was considered as being the full day. So if Jesus died on a Friday afternoon, was in the tomb throughout Saturday, and rose on Sunday, they would classify that as having been dead for three days, according to their line of thinking. Now here's where things get really fascinating, all right? You see, Passover itself is on the Jewish day of Nisan 14. And that day, according to our calendar, changes its date of the week each year according to the Jewish calendar. That's why Easter sometimes is like late April and sometimes it's mid-March. It fluctuates depending on the Jewish calendar. And the Passover day, which occurs right before uh, Easter, is on the Jewish day, Nisan 14. Well, we know from history, all right, that Nisan 14, Passover, it had, you know, it had to be on a Friday if Jesus was raised on a Sunday, uh, that Jesus was crucified on Nisan 14, the Passover day. Well, Nisan 14 was on a Friday uh, around that time when Jesus would have been 32 uh, in three particular dates, in A.D. 26, A.D. 33, and A.D. 36. Now, Jesus was born before Herod died in 4 B.C. So then, if Jesus was working backwards, right, Uh, If he was 32 when he died, and he had to die before 4 B.C., then Jesus must have been born in 6 B.C. and died in A.D. 26. 
in the Jewish year of 37 86. Now, what's the point of any of this? What does this matter? Jesus being born at 6 BC? It's just a behind the scenes look at, at, at different elements of Christmas here. And all of this, everything we've been looking at, why Christmas is called what it is, why we have a Christmas tree, why the Magi and, and this deal about celebrating on December 25th, about Jesus being born in 4 BC. Well, the point of all of this is that simply that many, if not most, of the current traditions associated with such a pervasive holiday as Christmas, uh, it all points to Jesus. Everything points to Jesus. So we should just as much make every effort to point to Jesus in our own Christmas traditions and in our Christmas communications, because Christmas points to Jesus at every turn. So should Christians. If Christmas points to Jesus, so should Christians. And so that's my hope, that's my prayer for you, is that as you examine Christmas, that if you don't believe in Jesus, that this will be an opportunity for you to believe Him as the Son of God died to, so that all your sins would be forgiven. He rose from the dead so that you can live after you die. And if you believe that, then you gain eternal life. And that eternal life begins right now. Jesus tells us that in John chapter 17. That if you believe, your eternal life begins at that moment of belief. And uh, thank you, though, for checking all these videos out, these behind-the-scenes looks at Christmas. And we're going to put out more series like this in the coming days. So make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button, the like button, share this whole deal. We will definitely hit you up again.